Hi everybody, I'm Leah from CJ Drill and I'm here today with Zillow because I'm going to show you how to use a drum auger to snake out a bathroom drain. Now I gotta tell you, this is a job you can easily do yourself. Let's go over everything we need for the job. You're going to need a bucket. The bigger the bucket, the better, right? You definitely want safety glasses, and I can't stress this enough. You never know what's in that drain. It could be a drain cleaner, and you want to protect your eyes in the event of any kind of splashback. Have rubber gloves, plenty of shop cloths, have a drop cloth because there's going to get some, there's going to be some water okay now these are the tools now you're not going to need all three but i want to show you what the options are now this drum auger that's what this is called is probably the least expensive drum auger you can purchase probably about ten dollars at a hardware store it'll do the job but it only has a cable 15 feet long. So if your clog is further down the line, this may not be the tool for you. Now the next drum auger, this is a step up because it's got a handle, it's easier to hold and it's metal and it's got a longer cable. Inexpensive as well. And you can pick that up at any home improvement store or hardware store as well. Now, the last one on the end here, this is a commercial drum auger. You can rent these things. Chances are you're not going to own one, right? Now, what these are used for are for blockages that are heavy-duty blockages, and they're far down the line because this has got a very long cable. Plus, it has a very aggressive end so that it can really catch hold of that clog and dislodge it. Now today we're going to be using this one right here in the center. So let's get started. Now I'm in the bathroom where we're going to snake out the drain. Now this is a vanity style bathroom sink. What I like about it is I was able to remove the doors so I can access this P-trap. That's what this is. It's going to have to remove it and I don't want any obstacles. So normally you might have to put a pipe wrench on these nuts to remove the P-trap. Now I've loosened them ahead of time to make it easier. You got to be careful because this thing is full of water. And there's my bucket there. Then I'm going to get this out of the way because it's unnecessary. Okay, now comes time to snake out our drain. What we want to do is we want to take this thumb screw and loosen it because that's going to allow us to pull out our snake. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start pushing it through the pipe until I meet resistance. Once I meet resistance, then I'm going to tighten up this thumb screw. Now I've met resistance. So normally when you meet resistance, that means either you've reached a bend in the pipe or you've met the blockage. Now you want to be about, I don't know, about six inches away from the pipe opening. I'm going to tighten the screw up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to spin that auger bit and it's going to like drill through the blockage. And the way you do that is you turn the handle as you push forward. Now you want to hold on to the end. You want to loosen the nut. Pull it out just a little bit. Tighten the nut back up and repeat the process. Once you feel that you've made it through the blockage, what you want to do is loosen that screw and just pull it back in. And that's all it takes. Now I'll reattach my P-trap and we'll run the drain to make certain that it's running clearly. So we've cleared the clog. The water ran very freely. I've checked my connections. They're nice and tight, but most importantly, they're dry. That's all it takes to clear a drain with a drum auger. Now, this is something you can easily do yourself. This is Leah saying you can do this.